What's going on guys? Adam again back with Atomic Garage guys and today Today's the day Today's the day we get the car remote tuned. It's not Wednesday. It's Friday. It rained out on Wednesday and Boy am I ready to get cracking on the BMW Go a blow baby. I Don't know what's gonna happen. I just hope I'm smiling instead of crying coming up in this video All right, guys, I just got in contact with him, and I am going to go ahead and pay for my session of two hours. Then we'll get started, and uh, from there, we'll see if we need to add another two hours or whatever like that. So we're going to pay him, got the laptop set up and everything, and we should be good to go. All right, I just paid him and set up a remote tuning session through Chrome. Waiting for him to call me, and we'll get started. The Gabe's got the same plug connector and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, it looks like the 440cc too. Just trying to get some. Okay. Just if we have issues with keeping it running, remind me the IACV idle control valve is inverted in his. Okay. All right. The IAC. All right. Let's do the timing first. Go ahead and cycle the power. All right. All right, so we're about to take it to a drive. Doing a 
a few moments later. So we are on the side of the road and I am freezing. Tuning is going good. Cars, you know, fighting back a little bit, but that's to be expected. It's like 40 degrees. It's probably not cold enough for some of you guys, but I'm cold. And every time that I'm working on the car doing something, it's under the shade. There's no sun, so there's nothing warming you up. So got a mobile hotspot going, and we're going to see what happens with it. I just sent over the log information over to the tuner. He's going to mess with it, do a little bit of wizardry. See if he can get it to start back up, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Well, I'm back on the side of the road, and this is for the last time because it won't start again. And the car is giving me loss of sync issues, and I don't know. It was running, it fired up perfectly every time at the house, and as soon as I get on the road and go a little bit further, it just loss of sync freaks out, everything goes wonky, dies, just just like that, so now I need to see about uh, getting the car back to the house once again, so that's, it's a pretty, pretty awesome feeling, and I paid for four hours of tuning, I got three hours, so I still got an hour that I can go back and get again, but today has been... A letdown not from the tuner but from just from the car I don't know I don't know what's going on anyway let me see what I'm gonna do well then we are walking back to the house it's got a good mile to go and my ankle seems bummed out so that's kind of fun but we're on our way back to the house to get the car pulled I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. That's causing these random intermittent loss of sync issues. And that's the worst part because if it was constantly uh, losing sync, that's one thing. If it was constantly having these issues, but it is not, it'll randomly do it, then it'll randomly stop. All morning we've been tuning, not a single time will it lose sync. Now, soon as I, soon as I take the car further away, from the house, lost the sink, won't crank, battery's dying, everything all at once. So, I think it's because of the VR sensors, I'm not sure. So I may have to switch, make sure no car coming. I may have to switch over to uh, Hall of Fame. So, I guess I'm gonna have to figure that out, get the car to the house, and I ain't gonna worry about it for a couple of days. Mentally, this car has been a roller coaster from me, so I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit. So, I'm getting the tow back, and uh, once I get into the yard, I will uh, go over my final thoughts as far as how today was kind of a failure. A few moments later. Are you serious? Man, for real? First try. First try. And it fires up. First freaking try. I don't even know what to say at this point. I will say this though. This car may not work good as, you know, a car, a vehicle, a means of transportation, but boy, if she doesn't look good. Boy, she looks good. She looks good with 
dirty paint, with messed up tent, with, <sighs> boy, she looks good. That's a positive, I guess. So there it is, guys. I, uh, I am speechless when it comes to this car because it is slowly chipping away at my soul. I think this has to do with the fact that it's VR sensors for the crank and maybe I need to change them to Hall Effect sensors, I don't know. But uh, I'm a couple hundred dollars lighter and did not get to finish my tuning session, so that was amazing. And uh, the car can idle a little bit better, but apparently loss of sync issues are becoming a thing once again, even after the 10K resistor and all the research that was done before. So certainly have a lot more work to do, hopefully less work to get it going. Uh, I've got to do some research, so it's a little bit bleak of an ending today, guys. I don't know what to look for exactly, but we'll just keep grinding away at it, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. Tell me how I can improve my content. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.